multi-class racing is a unique challenge that you simply don't get from other sports in single-class motorsport. Overtaking is such a precarious element requiring a whole heap of focus and awareness, where one wrong move can destroy all the hard work built up throughout a race. The ordeal is guaranteed to cause lost time for every car involved, but with the right timing and know-how, you're able to pass the other classes faster than your rivals can. But why would anyone even consider partaking in multi-class racing when risks are monumentally high? For starters, it keeps the race interesting and engaging for all parties involved, and the challenge to undertake such a task is thrilling. In a single-class sprint race, there's a low chance of coming across another competitor before the chequered flag, whereas in multi-class, traffic is guaranteed within every lap after the first phase of a race. Overtaking can seem daunting at first for all classes, but thanks to a bit of know-how through etiquette, every class can make the move safely, and with the least amount of time lost. Speaking of making the move, did you know that subscribing to this traction channel significantly increases your chances of overtaking? Try it out, you've got nothing to lose. As the faster class, it will get frustrating when you're stuck behind a slower car in an unsafe area of the track. It is crucially important to keep your cool, be patient and wait for the perfect time, otherwise both parties will end up in the wall. As you're the faster car, it is your job to make the overtake as safe as possible. You can't just flash your headlights and go for a major dive bomb into the Dunlop chicane at Le Mans for example. These kinds of rash moves are dangerous and disrespectful to the car in the slower class you're putting at risk. The perfect time to overtake that results in the least amount of time loss is on a straight. Slipstreaming and picking a lane as early as possible is the best behaviour, and this clearly signals your intentions for overtaking. When it comes to a corner, however, the situation becomes less than ideal. Take the Nordschleife for example, a track that is littered with tight corners and narrow roads. Give the car ahead some breathing room while you're going through a turn, and then show your intentions early as you enter a safe area. Let them take all the time they need to get through a corner, don't pressure too hard as they're running their own race. Due to the nature of multi-class racing, you will inevitably find yourself in a scenario where you have to make a move in an uncomfortable place sometimes. In these cases, it's all about being predictable and clear with your intentions, letting the car ahead know exactly what you are doing by making sure the move is completed early on in the braking zone, or holding off until a safe moment during corner exit. Just to reiterate it, never go for a late dive from behind into the apex of a corner. Keep it safe, be patient, and you'll be rewarded with clean air. So for a quick roundup as the faster class, be patient, keep calm, announce your intentions early, and overtake in the safest manner you can. Don't distract others by flashing headlights, and definitely don't risk it all for a dive bomb. There is no doubt that you will be overtaken many times throughout a race, which can get demoralising if you're at the back of a pack. It is very stressful to come across multiple cars trying to overtake when they're fighting for position, so it's important for yourself to keep your communication clear. For every corner they're staring at your tail lights, they will be losing time and the experience can get very distracting if they're impatient. It is so important to concentrate on your own race and stick to the racing line. Don't make any unnatural movements by slowing down or strange positioning, let them do the work and you'll be rewarded with a short slipstream. By sticking to the racing line, you're making yourself predictable towards the faster class, which means they'll be able to understand your intentions and plan their moves accordingly. Of course, you will get the odd maniac here and there with their flashing headlights and erratic behaviour in your rearview mirror, but do your best to keep calm and stay on your line. When a faster car is close behind, edges to the inside and sails past you early on in the braking zone, you won't lose much time at all. But when they're flashing their headlights and positioning their car on the inside going into a corner from miles back, this is a clear and dangerous signal that they'll be making a late dive bomb. Do your best to avoid them at all costs by braking earlier and giving them as much room as possible. There isn't much you can do about these types of racers, but it's best to make the situation as safe as possible through this ordeal. If they're driving like this towards yourself, they're probably doing it to the other slower class cars as well, and they'll most likely crash into at least one of your opponents. So, for a quick roundup as the slower class, be predictable, keep calm, and let them make the move. Don't drive off the racing line and be prepared for those annoying and distracting drivers. As this is a multi-class race, you are not racing drivers from other classes besides your own. There is no point making defensive manoeuvres when you're the slower driver, as this causes lost time for both classes, and is incredibly dangerous. They are the faster class, they will overtake you. Clear communication is required by every driver, so everyone needs to announce their intentions as early as possible. Every single car has their differences when it comes to downforce, braking points, and racing lines. A slower class can have an earlier braking point to a faster class, so make sure to adjust accordingly and leave enough breathing room for every class when going into a braking zone. If the game allows you to do so, keep an eye on the black box or relative distance timer to make sure you know about any upcoming cars. This prepares you so that when the next car comes along you are expecting it and you can judge the arrival of it. It's good practice in general to use this, however it's even more crucial to use in multi class. It's important to remember that every car in the field is in the same race. They will also come across traffic and lose similar time to yourself, so be patient and keep your head clear. Multi-class is a unique dance that every car needs to perfect and comes with great reward. Most importantly, have fun. Keeping the overtake safe is incredibly satisfying and rewarding and there is a lot to learn that can be applied to single class racing. If you've learned anything from this video, it would help us a lot if you were to leave the video a like and even subscribe to this Traction channel. More tips like this can also be found at our website over at Traction.gg. 
thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on track. As always, keep it pinned.